let's discuss an example of the Gram-Schmidt algorithm. So we are going to obtain an orthogonal matrix on the basis of this matrix M using the Gram-Schmidt algorithm. We're going to denote the three columns of this M as the A, B, and C. And on the first step, we're going to obtain the big A, big B, and big C. They are the vectors which are orthogonal to each other, orthogonal vectors. We are going to do this in this way. So the first vector a is going to be simply the small a. The vector b is obtained as b minus the projection of the b onto the a. So this makes this vector b orthogonal to this vector a. So we can do this as so 0, 1, 2 minus the a transpose to the b divided to the a transpose to the a multiplied to the a. So let's do this. It's going to be 0, 1, 2, minus the A transpose is going to be 1, 1, 1, multiplied as a B, which is 0, 1, 2, divided to 1, 1, 1, multiplied as a 1, 1, and 1. We additionally are going to multiply this as a 1, 1, and 1. So what we obtain is, it's going to be 0, 1, 2, minus, if we multiply this 1 to this, we obtain 3, if we multiply this vector to this vector, we also obtain the 3. It's going to be 1, 1, 1. And we, if we subtract 0, 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 1, it is going to be equal to minus 1, 0, and 1. So this is going to be a vector b, which is perpendicular to the vector a. So now, in order to obtain the vector c, which is going to be perpendicular to the vector b and a, we need to use the formula. So the c minus projection of the c onto the a minus the projection of the c onto the b. So this is going to be c vector minus a transpose to the c divided to the a transpose to the a multiplied to the a minus a transpose to the, sorry, b transpose to the c divided to the b transpose to the b multiplied to the b. So the c vector is given as a 0, 0, 3 minus, so a transposes 1, 1, 1, multiplied to the 0, 0, 3, divided to the 1, 1, 1, multiplied to the 1, 1, and 1, multiplied additionally to the 1, 1, and 1, to the a vector, minus, so the b vector is given as a minus 1, 0, 1, multiplied to the c, which is 0, 0, 3, divided to the b vector, multiplied to itself. And additionally, we need to multiply this as a vector b. So let's do the calculations. It's going to be 0, 0, 3, minus. If we multiply this vector to this, we obtain 3. This one to this, it's also 3. Multiply it to the 1, 1, and 1. Minus, if we multiply this vector to this, it is going to be 3. If we multiply this vector to this, we obtain 2. Multiply it to the minus 1, 0, and 1. So if you do the calculation, it's going to be 0 minus 1 plus 3 over 2. 0 minus 1 plus or minus 0. And 3 minus 1 minus 3 over 2. So if you do the calculation, it's going to be plus 1 over 2 minus 1. And it's going to be 2 <coughs> minus 2 and a half. It's going to be plus 1 over 2 again. So please note that I've got these three vectors, big A, big B, and big C, which is going to be perpendicular to each other. But you see this C vector has this 1 over 2s, and I can just get rid of them by just multiplying this vector to the T, right? Actually, if I just take this vector, which is going to be twice longer than the C, which we found, which is also going to be perpendicular to the A and B. So that's why I can take this C vector as... 1 minus t and 1 by just multiplying this to the 2 and it's going to be easier for me to work with this vector. So on the first step we find c three vectors big A, big B and big C which are going to be perpendicular to each other and on the second step we're going to just normalize them. So the q1 is going to be A divided to the norm of the A which is going to be so since A is equal to the 1, 1 and 1 its norm is equal to the 1 in the square plus 1 in the square plus 1 in the square, which is going to be a square root of 3. And this is 1 divided to the square root of 3 multiplied to the 1, 1, and 1. 
So Q2 is obtained by dividing the B vector to the norm of the B. So if the B vector is given as minus 1, 0, 1, then the norm of this vector is equal to minus 1 in the square plus 0 in the square plus 1 in the square, which is going to be a square root of 2. So this is 1 divided to the square root of 2, multiplied to the minus 1, 0, and 1. And the Q3, which is going to be the third column of the orthogonal matrix, is obtained by dividing the C to the norm of the C. So if the C is given as 1 minus T and 1, then the norm of this vector is 1 in the square plus minus 2 in the square, which is 4, plus 1 in the square, which is 1, which is going to be square root of 6. So this is 1 divided to the square root of 6, multiplied to the 1, minus 2, and 1. So we obtain the three vectors, q1, q2, q3, which are going to be autonomal vectors, and which make the three columns of the orthogonal matrix q.